For people with chronic back pain, every day can be a living hell. Now, a new high-tech treatment using a small robot is providing relief. I really do not feel any pain. With 80% of Australians suffering back pain during their lives, this is the treatment we've all been waiting for. Incredible is the word, really. It's, it's, just, yeah. Yeah. it's a miracle. Well, just barely. Yeah. <laughs> it's accessible with no waiting lists. It's the practical approach, putting an end to agony. It's very exciting for us because it gives us a new and probably much better way of doing things. Tonight on A Current Affair, we reveal the most technologically advanced back pain fix this country's ever seen. Amazing. Sufferers going from this... Oh, oh, ...to this just days later. Yeah. This feels just so good. For Jennifer Nolder, chronic back pain sabotages nearly everything she does each day of her life. I can be just walking and it just hits. I can't keep my house clean like I like to. I can't walk on the beach. High school sweetheart and husband Peter says it's tough that for the last 10 years she's been in so much pain she can't even play with the grandkids. It's not real good. It's very, very hard seeing someone pretty hurt. The past 12 months have become unbearable. There are some days I just don't want to be here. Jennifer has one bone slipping forward on the other in her back, called spondylolisthesis, as well as nerve pressure. There is a bit of a step. Put simply, she has pain in her lower back and hip, which shoots down her leg. To get through each day, she's on copious amounts of medication. Does it concern you having been on that much medication for so long? Yes, it does. I'm worried about what it's affecting, my liver or my kidneys. It's got to do some damage. 20 metres is about as far as Jennifer can walk before it all becomes too much and she needs to sit down. It's incredible that something as every day as the supermarket shop oh, is a disaster for you. It's, um, it's not fun. The 61-year-old has decided she doesn't want to be robbed of the next 10 years of her life. So she's trying a brand new treatment. It's spinal surgery performed with the help of this small robot. This is one of the biggest advances in spinal surgery for quite a long time. Professor Richard Batar from Precision Brain Spine and Pain Centre in Melbourne says while not all patients will need surgery, which of course does have its risks, it's the most exciting new approach for chronic sufferers. Fortunately, most people with a bad back get better by themselves or with a bit of physiotherapy or some other type of gentle treatment that doesn't involve surgery. But some people don't get better with that. There are currently only two robots in Australia, one in Sydney and one in Melbourne, and this is how it works. The robot is attached to the spine and positioned on a guide track. The computer, programmed specifically for each patient, then moves the robot to the right coordinates. An X-ray confirms the position. It then assists the surgeon to insert screws in exactly the right position to stabilise the area that's causing the pain. What the robot lets us do is take our accuracy up to 98 or 99 per cent, which makes a big difference considering that you've only got to be out by one or two millimetres and that can potentially spell disaster. They can walk around earlier, they can get out of hospital earlier and they can get back to a relatively normal life much sooner. Jennifer is hoping she'll have as much freedom post-surgery as Mario Catapan, who also underwent the same procedure. Oh, I want to get out there now and, and do all the things that are left to do after this surgery. He was the very first patient Professor Batar operated on earlier this year. Not that he minded being number one. I hadn't thought about it, um, but when he said that, I was thrilled. He said the difference the surgery made to his chronic back pain is mind-blowing. I, mean, I came out of that thinking I'd be in pain and there'd be rehab. In fact, day two I was walking around. To me, it's just a matter of get on with it now. And, and you know, 65 and I've got lots to do and I want to do it now. <laughs> Jennifer is desperately hoping for a similar result and today is her big day. She's having the surgery done at the Valley Private Hospital in Dandenong. Here, you pay no extra for choosing to use the robot. The average out-of-pocket cost is around two to three thousand dollars, and there are no waiting lists. This will allow us to attach it to the back of the spine, 
Now the computer's analyzing the changes that we've made to the plan, and it's going to tell the robot exactly where it needs to move to. We're now two hours into the operation. I've just seen the robot in action. It's amazing how such a small device has such a huge responsibility in guiding the surgeons every step of the way. Normally, with spinal surgery, a patient can be lying in bed with a brace on for weeks. But here's Jennifer just 24 hours after the operation, pain-free. I've got no pain in my legs, nothing. Wow, that, that is I'm incredible. amazed. So soon afterwards. Yeah, I'm just wrapped and unbelievably taking her very first steps. <laughs> just over one week later, after some simple rehab, Jennifer has significantly reduced her medication and is able to do all the things she missed out on for the past decade. To be able to walk along the beach is, is the ultimate. It is the best. The supermarket shop is already a breeze. As far as I'm concerned, the recovery from this has been unbelievable. There's no way in my wildest dreams I thought I'd be down here sort of a bit over a week after surgery. Peter's even looking forward to getting out of doing some of the housework for a change. <laughs> I reckon Jennifer will be back on the vacuum cleaner day one, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer and Peter say the difference the robotic surgery has made is nothing short of remarkable. Fabulous. Absolutely over the moon. And for more information on that treatment, just visit our website.